What if I told you that our universe wasn't born from a single Big Bang, but from a cosmic collision? A collision so powerful, it set the stage for everything we know, stars, planets, galaxies, and even you. This is the Ekbarotic Universe Theory, and it might just change the way you see reality forever. Most of us have heard of the Big Bang. The idea that our universe began as a tiny, infinitely dense point that exploded into existence. But what if that's not the whole story? The Ekpyrotic Universe Theory proposes something even more mind-blowing. Instead of a single explosion, our universe might have been born from the collision of two higher dimensional membranes, cosmic sheets floating in a vast, unseen dimension. Think of it like this. Imagine two sheets of paper floating in the air. When they collide, the energy from that impact creates a universe, our universe. And here's the kicker, this might not have been a one-time event, these collisions could happen over and over creating an endless cycle of universes. So how does this work? The ekpyrotic theory is rooted in string theory, which suggests that our universe has more than the three dimensions we can see. These higher dimensions could contain massive flat structures called brains, short for membranes. When two brains collide, the energy released could create all the matter and energy we see in our universe. But here's the fascinating part. This theory solves some of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. For example, it explains why our universe is so uniform, why the temperature of the cosmic microwave background is almost the same everywhere. In the ekpyrotic model, the collision smooths out the universe, erasing any irregularities. It's like hitting the cosmic reset button. So, how does this compare to the Big Bang? In the Big Bang model, the universe starts as a singularity, a point of infinite density. But, in the Ekerotic model, there's no singularity. Instead, the universe begins as a collision, avoiding the need for infinite values. This also means our universe might not be the first, or the last. If brains keep colliding, there could be an endless cycle of universes, each one born from the ashes of the last. If the ekpyrotic theory is true, it changes everything. It means our universe isn't a one-time event. It's part of an endless cycle of creation and destruction. It means there could be other universes out there, born from their own cosmic collisions. And it means the Big Bang might not be the beginning of everything, just the beginning of us. Why? So. Is our universe the result of a cosmic collision? Is the ekpyrotic theory the key to understanding reality? We don't know. Yet. Um. But, one thing's for sure, the universe is far stranger and more beautiful than we ever imagined. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more mind-blowing explorations of the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up.